Millions of people have transitioned to remote work and uh, the new reality has truly blurred the lines between our personal and our professional lives, leaving many employees still struggling to help to set some healthy boundaries. So we have some tips to help you set them. Dr. Hammer, thank you for joining us today. Everyone needs some tips on how do we continue to work from home without getting burnt out? First of all, what is that burnout? Burnout is a state of exhaustion, both emotional and physical exhaustion, that is a result of chronic stress. Mm. And, you know, life is always stressful. So I think uh, many of us experience that in general, but it's certainly true that during COVID, that stress is ramped up and that causes the adrenaline and the cortisol in our body to be increased. And that has deleterious effects on our sleep, certainly, but on our immune system, our cardiovascular health, uh, our hormonal system and balance. So yes, it's chronic stress and that's what we need to learn to deal with. I know you've seen this definitely in the medical profession. Uh, how, how do you notice it hurting um, maybe non-medical professionals in their health as well? I think that this is a, a time of great stress for all of us. I think even those of us who are fortunate and have perhaps been vaccinated and may not be as impacted as many people are uh, by the virus and by the pandemic, uh, even we are sad and you know feel the pain and suffering that's global at this point. And so um, you know the, the silver lining, I guess, is that we do feel like a global, society. Um, but the downside is that there's a lot of stress for everyone, not just certainly in healthcare. Absolutely. Now, I know you have kind of four steps or four tips to gain that personal happiness and that resilience. What would you recommend we do? What are those four steps? Well, first of all, I would say uh, for our physical health, we need to be very attentive to our sleep, exercise, and nutrition. So I have some bullet points for those. And then for our emotional and spiritual health, we need to remember to be grateful, to be accepting of things that we cannot change that cause us pain and suffering, to use our intention or purposefulness to guide the way we think because we have a negativity bias and we can, we can reroute that negativity bias into a more positive way of being if we're mindful or intentional about it. And the fourth pillar of emotional and spiritual happiness is non-judgment. You know, our brains are always comparing things ourselves to others, uh, this is too much of that or not enough of the other, or this is good, that is bad. And those judgments really wear us out and they're not productive. So we need to be uh, mindful of becoming more non-judgmental of others in our environment. And then ultimately the hardest thing of ourselves. I love that. I feel like the judgment part is so on point. Um, what is something that you do every day that you would tell us to do to incorporate in our routines that has helped you uh, prevent burnout? Well, uh, as I've outlined in my book, my, my morning practice consists of uh, gain meditation. So it's a matter of sitting for as little as three minutes every morning and closing our eyes, sitting in a comfortable place and getting in touch with our breath, which is always there, always accessible to us, slowing it down. And then actually going through a contemplative meditation involving gratitude, acceptance, intention, and non-judgment. And then returning to a focus on our breath and slowly opening our eyes. And then we're ready to go out in the world and practice these things throughout the day, have a little gratitude, acknowledgement, uh, something that's painful that's bothering us, actually sit with it, open our hearts to it, let it in, merge with it, mm -hmm. uh, be intentional, remember that our, we can be purposeful about being more present and being more positive. And then again, having non-judgment exercises that we do throughout the day. But it starts with that grounding three to five minute meditation of, of the gain elements in the morning. I think the second good thing to come from the pandemic is that we've been talking about this and trying to incorporate it more into our routine. Dr. Hammer, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure to be with you.